We have our hands on the brand new Shimano Altegra R8000 group set. Completely, totally new, replacing the 6800 group set that's been out for years and years. Altegra is the group set that most of us buy. We all kind of deep down want Dura-Ace because it's the best, but Altegra is the affordable one that gives you 99% of the performance of Dura-Ace with a tiny bit more weight and a tiny bit less bling. The big news with new Altegra is alongside loads and loads of small refinements like you'd expect, they've basically inherited the derailleur design from Dura-Ace 9100. That means a shadow style rear mech, which is really slimmed down and has new hex bolt limit screws and it's just much cleaner and it gives slightly more wheel clearance when you're taking your wheel out. And it also means at the front, totally new cable routing where the cable, instead of having that big long arm that 6800 had, the cable comes up in here and does a weird little back and forth thing and it makes a much neater design and you can adjust cable tension at the mech. There's no need for an inline adjuster, so you don't have to have a nasty big lumpy thing next to your stem. It's all in here. Shifters have been refined too. They uh, look overall quite similar. They've got some nice new grippy bits on the hoods. And the big thing is that the shifting itself has been made a little bit more positive. So. That nice sound is nicer than it was before. It's slightly more metallic. It's more like Dura-Ace, um, both the current Dura-Ace and 9000, which was one of, we think, the nicest group sets in terms of just feel. The most obvious thing with any group set, in some ways the centerpiece of the group set, is the cranks. And we really like the look of this. It's maybe a little bit early to say, but my first impression is that this thing might actually be a little bit nicer than the current Dura-Ace. We were quite surprised when Dura-Ace 9100 came out because it actually, if anything, looked more like Altegra because it's all one color, it's all the same finish. This has got a two-tone thing, so this bit here is totally shiny and this bit here is totally matte. And I think, on first impression, I've literally just got this out of the box. I think it looks really nice. Obviously, the other crank looks the same because it would be really weird if it didn't match, but our video guy insisted that I mention that. <laughs> In terms of actual design, the crank is quite a radical change as well. They've retained the forearm design that the previous Altegra had, but this has got much, much wider. It tapers out, so that should be really super stiff. And I'm not sure about the actual measurement, but it looks to me like it's also got thinner, which should be good for clearance. The other change that Shimano has made to this, which I know from reading the spec documents, is they've altered the tooth profiles, which is something they did with Durace as well, to improve behavior at extreme chain lines. And that means that you don't have problems with shorter chain stays and stuff. So it should mean you can abuse your group set more and it won't make as many funny noises. The new Altegra cassette doesn't appear to be radically different, but what is cool with the new group set is the range of gearing that you can run. So this here is the short cage version of the Shimano uh, rear derailleur, what they call an SS, and that will take up to a 30 tooth cassette. But the GS, that's the longer cage version, will now go up to an 11 to 34 cassette. So that gives you the option of a really huge range with the double up front. In addition to redesigning the rear derailleur, like the new Durace, there's also this specific piece of rear outer that you're supposed to use for optimal shifting. I think it's because it's slightly stiffer, so don't use it at your peril. The brakes have been restyled in a very similar way to Durace, and they now officially take a 28 millimeter tire, even if they did take one before, it wasn't official. Uh, the other really noticeable thing is that they've rearranged the quick release lever, so it's a much tidier design than it was before. There is also a direct mount version of that, but that is just the standard single bolt caliper. The chain and bottom bracket haven't changed at all, but one really cool thing, and this is completely fresh also, is that for the first time ever, you can buy a quick link from Shimano. I'm taking it out of the box. This has never been out of the box before in the UK. Literally, a quick link designed for Shimano chains, made by Shimano, approved by Shimano. Despite the fact that for years we've all been putting KMC quick links on our chains, you can now do it and Shimano lets you. This obviously is the rim brake mechanical shifter version of the group set. But like Durace, there are now hydraulic disc and DI2 versions with actual Altegra branding on them. And so there are four different group sets, each with a different code and it gets very complicated. 
Essentially, everyone is catered for. You can have any combination under the sun. You probably want to know about weight because roadies are obsessed with that sort of thing. I'm gonna need to get my notebook out for that. So, starting from the top, we've got cranks weigh 685 grams, shifters 419 grams the pair, rear derailleur 198 grams, front derailleur 89 grams, brakes front is 183, rear is 180, chain which hasn't changed remember that's 264 grams, cassette 246 also hasn't really changed that's for an 1128 cassette, uh, bottom bracket also hasn't changed that's 76 grams. This is all our measurements on our scales, which we've literally just done. You might have noticed that there's no hubs on this table. At the moment, there's no new official R8000 Altegra hub, but that doesn't mean there won't be. There's also no R8000 wheels right now, but again, we'd be very surprised if they don't bring one out. It's hard to make any sort of value judgment having just taken a group set out of the box and fundled it a bit and stuck it on some scales. But my kind of gut feeling is that it's probably going to be quite good. Reason being, it's lots of small refinements, they haven't kind of upset the apple cart, and the previous Altogra was extremely good. It inherits a lot from Durace, which we've been riding for a few months, so we're hopeful that it won't have any major issues. Right now, we don't have prices, we don't have a firm release date, although we're pretty sure it's going to appear on some 2018 bikes. And when we're done with this video, Shimano is going to put all the bits back in a box and take it away because we're not allowed to ride it yet. But keep an eye on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll bring you the first ride when we have it.